Hi Virgo Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that like button. I apologize if you guys hear the background noise. I'm in a shared office space and um, some people are talking outside the office. So, um, But we are going to dive right in to your reading, to your 2020, what you need to know, what you can expect throughout this 2020, what messages the angels have for you, and how can you best navigate this 2020. So this will be a little bit different than your typical reading that I do through the month because I'm going to break it down into different categories, different things that you can expect so that you can, we're just going to break it down into work and relationships and all kinds of different categories. So we are going to dive in first to the overarching theme that you can expect through this month. So the first cards are this overarching theme and the first card that we have here is the moon card, okay? So the moon card is all about things that have been in the dark are suddenly brought to light, okay? So I feel like maybe there have been and has been some confusion for you, maybe through some of this upcoming year there will continue to be confusion and then suddenly things are just clear. Suddenly the universe shines this light on the situation and you see it for what it is. You understand it for what it it is. You are encouraged to take this understanding and to take action on it, to do what it is that you feel like you need to do because we don't want to look at it and just bury our head in the sand. Sometimes we don't like the answer. Sometimes we don't like the information that is coming to light. But understand that if you are being shown, if it is being brought to light, this is because it is very purposeful for you. It is um, important for you to have this understanding for your highest and best good. So make decisions accordingly, okay? Uh, use that information to make the best choices for you. Um, this is also about, you know, you having important psychic information coming through in regard to, or, or in your sleep, you know? So pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to what's coming through, pay attention to messages that seem to be coming through in your dreams because this is also going to give you information about how you can best navigate your life. This is also about releasing fear, right? This is about not allowing fear to hold you back. And, and so whatever it is that is being brought to light, whatever it is that you're understanding about yourself, about your your life, your the people in your life, whatever this is for you, understand that we can't let fear hold us back. And, and even if you are afraid to make a move, even if you're afraid to respond differently, you are encouraged to do it differently or to do it anyway because we don't want to allow fear to be making the decisions for us. And the longer that you allow fear to hold you back, the longer that you are held back. And Sometimes I find that when I'm afraid of something and I do it anyway, I recognize on the other side of it that it wasn't so scary. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was. And sometimes when you just go for it, you really feel, number one, really proud of yourself, but number two, very accomplished, and number three, you just feel as though you have made an amazing decision for yourself. Um, and, and and kind of wonder why you worried about it to begin with. And I feel like this has this kind of energy for you through this year. So challenge those fears, okay? Then we have the seven of water reversed, okay? So this is about feeling like you have to make some decisions for yourself, but but not being clear as to the direction um, that you wanna go. And I do feel like this is a little bit of that energy, like I said, of wanting to kind of hide your head in the sand. I feel like you know the answer. I feel like you have a sense of what you're supposed to do, but it's just fears that are holding you back. So again, this is about not allowing that fear to hold you back, not allowing that fear to be in the driver's seat of your life. You are in the driver's seat of your life. And if you can push yourself a little bit, if you can push yourself out of your comfort zone, you are going to be growing in so many amazing ways. And so, you know, releasing this this fear that is preventing you from making the decision, I think you know the answers. I think you know the choices that you need to make here. And you just have to take some deep breaths, get yourself into a place where you feel like you can go for it and absolutely just go for it. So the next cards that we're gonna be taking a look at is in the area of self and health for you. Okay, so let's pull these cards. So here we have the Eight of Water. I really feel like you're gonna be on a journey this year of 
looking for more meaning in, in your life, looking for um, looking to level up, looking to connect on a deeper level spiritually. I think that you're going to be making a lot of growth, both spiritually, mentally, personally. Um, I, I, I think that you are going to be sort of searching for something and this searching for something that you don't quite know what it is, is going to create a lot of growth, a lot of development for you over this year. So keep searching, keep following what it is that you feel called to um, go after. Keep honoring that feeling of there's got to be more to life than this because I think that it's bringing you into a, a really beautiful next step. In fact, you probably will find yourself seeing a lot of 11 11s this year showing up on clocks or wherever it is that numbers show up because this is all about leveling up. This is all about taking it to the next level and I truly feel as though this is exactly where you're going in this year. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of soul searching and the soul searching is leading to seven of fire okay seven of fire is like finally understanding who you are and what you want and standing strong in that being able to assertively defend yourself as needed when other people don't agree with you or when other people don't agree with your choices or other people don't agree with the way that you are approaching things this is about you know choosing your battles wisely, but at the same time standing strong in your truth and standing strong in who you are and what you want for your life. This is about you finding a way to be in control of the fear of uh, you know, the fear that's trying to take over you. This is about you instead being in charge of the fear. I always see this woman here who is on the dragon. Um, I always call fear, fear dragons, you know, slaying your fear dragons. And I see her as, you know, guiding this fear, her being in charge of the fear rather than the fear being in charge of her. So I see you doing a lot of work around that, around fear, around releasing fears and going for it anyway through this year. So the next cards that we're going to take a look at are connected to your work and your life's work. So maybe what you get paid for, maybe just what you, um, what is connected to your life purpose here on this earth, what you provide to other people here in this earth, or what you just bring and off, have to offer here on this planet. So these these cards are saying to me we have the Knight of Fire reversed okay so again it's a little bit of a meh feeling around work it's a little bit of feeling like there has to be more to life than this you know I, I really would like some changes I really would like um, maybe more excitement in regard to my work I really would like a spark to come back into my work I would like more I would like to be more passionate about the work that I'm doing or the things that I'm putting my time and my energy into and I think that this is again part of that searching 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 for more meaning and keep searching keep looking because the answers are going to come and um, this is all going to be part of that leveling up process for you or that awakening process for you here we have the Empress card reversed. Okay, so again, it's like things just aren't giving you what you want at this point in your life. You know, it, it, it reminds me of when I was working my old job and it was really fulfilling. It was really fulfilling and I loved it and, and continued to do that until it wasn't. And then all of a sudden it just wasn't meeting my needs anymore. It just wasn't giving me what I was looking for anymore. It wasn't giving me the same kind of fulfillment that it once had. And I feel like this is happening for you in regard to your work or your life's work this year. So you're going to be going through this process. So understand that any discomfort that is showing up for you is about helping you to look for something else or um, begin to search for what it is is that's going to be the next steps for you. So follow the flow of that. It is going to carry you into some really exciting stuff. So the next cards that we have are in regard to relationships and love, okay? So this may be romantic love. This may be um, a relationship you're already in. This may be, if you're single, relationships that are coming in. This may be about friendships or family relationships. So it doesn't have to necessarily just be about romantic love. And 
what I'm seeing here is that you are going to be okay in regard to relationships as long as you listen to your intuition. High Priestess Reverse, okay? Listen to your intuition. You are going to save yourself a hell of a lot of trouble this year if you just listen to your intuition, if you just uh, allow that to be a guide for you. So, so important this year for you. So listen to your intuition, uh, read books about connecting to your intuition. Um, I offer several courses on intuition intuition. You can contact me about that. Some video courses that you can connect with. But do whatever it is that you can do to learn more about how you intuitively connect and just honor that and continue to honor that. You will save yourself a lot of grief and a lot of trouble. And, um, you know, if, if you're feeling something about somebody and the, what they're presenting to you just doesn't match what you're feeling, always listen to your intuition, always listen to what you're feeling. You know the answer, you know this, and I think when we don't listen to that, it can really bite us in the butt, okay? So before you get bit in the butt, listen to that intuition and just trust it, just honor it. You know the answers here. And um, the next thing that we have here is this nine of air, okay? So the nine of air is kind of, really expecting the worst, okay? Not having a very positive outlet, outlook on things in regard to relationships in your life or certain relationships on your in your life. And you wanna be mindful of that because while we wanna honor the intuition, we also don't want to obsess about things and worry about things and um, let the worry take over because what this will create with this nine of air energy is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, you know, you worry about something so much for so long that it actually manifests it into your life. So if you are, you know, finding yourself worrying, obsessing, whatever, ask yourself, do I need to make some changes about, you know, in regard to this per person or these people in my life? But also, you know, is it really worth putting all this time and this energy into? You know, um, because you don't want to create things in your life that weren't even meant to happen in your life. But you are a powerful creator. So the more you worry, the more you obsess, the more you think that something is going to happen for you, the more it is going to happen for you. So whenever you catch yourself having those thoughts, what I like to do is I like to say cancel, clear, delete, and ask the angels to clear those thoughts that I have just put out to the universe. So that might help you a little bit in regard to the relationships that you have in your life or coming up in your life. The next category is related to abundance, resources, money in your life, okay? So ton of fire is saying don't work yourself so hard for money that you are risking your health, that you are so stressed, that you are so overworked, that you are putting yourself in a place where your health is being impacted, okay? So um, you might want money, you might feel like you need to work really hard, but how can you work smarter, not harder? I really encourage you to explore this concept throughout this year and begin to take some actions on making that happen for you. I think that you can do that and I think that some really amazing things can come with that. And the next card that we have here in regard to that is awakening. So again, how can you look at things from a different perspective? How can you approach things from a different perspective? How can you do things differently? And again, I want to say, how can you work smarter, not harder? Okay. Um, I really want you to ask yourself that question. That question is so important for you throughout this year because I do see some shakeups, some changes in regard to your work and what you're putting your energy into or how you're making your money. So that question is very important. I do think that you are going to have some new insights coming through. I do think this is about looking outside the box and shaking things up and seeing things from a different perspective, approaching things from a different perspective, not being so stubborn that you think that you have to continue to do things in the way that you've always done them. Shake it up, do something different, approach it in a different way, and the money will come. So the very last category that we have here is the thoughts category. What, what is your mental process going to look like throughout this year? Where are you going to be in regard to your head? So again, five of fire. Again, fire showing up. Fire is connected to work. So you are going to be doing a lot of work in regard to your work or your life's work, okay? A lot of processing in regard to that. This is about you having competing goals. This is about you having a lot of work coming at you. Again, those... Um, 
you know, making sure that you're not overworking yourself to the point that you are getting sick or that it's impacting your overall well-being, okay? Um, so you may find in regard to your work or your life's work that there's conflict showing up, that, you, you know, that... Um, there are competing goals here, you know, maybe you want one thing, but the stuff that you're putting your energy into is actually giving you the opposite, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, maybe there are things that are just overwhelming to you, maybe you have so much work coming at you, you don't know how to juggle it all, so you need to take a step back and really explore what you really want and what you need to do about it, and you are encouraged to do that for your overall physical well-being, um, but also your mental well-being as well. Sorry, I'm dropping cards. Um, and then the last card that we have here is the Magician Reverse, okay? You're ready. You've got everything within you to do the things that you want to do, that you are being called to do. That's why you're being called to do them. That's why you're being called into action. So begin to take steps to do it. Stop doubting yourself. Stop questioning your ability. Stop thinking that other people can do it, but you can't because you can. I really like to adopt this idea of why not me? You know, if other people can do it, why not me? And why not you? So you are encouraged to do that. This is saying you have everything that it takes to be able to do that with the exception of you believing in yourself. So have some belief. Um, you know, even if you don't fully believe, believe in yourself, Act as though you do, take actions as though you do, and the belief in yourself will come, the confidence will come. So I hope that you make those changes for yourself because I think that some really magical things will come with that. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notifications for any videos that I upload here on the channel. If you wanna learn more about me or about Clarity, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Take care guys.